My name is Katherine Quesenberry. I'm the head of avian and exotic pet medicine at the Animal Medical Center in New York, New York. I went into veterinary medicine because I loved animals. I particularly loved birds. I went to school, undergraduate, I wanted to be an ornithologist. I decided about my junior year that I probably needed to find something where I could get a, a secure job, and so I decided to go into veterinary medicine to try to specialize in birds. That's where I made that decision. There wasn't a big emphasis in exotic animals, so I wanted to try to explore that, particularly to try to deal with pet birds or birds in general. So that's where I put my emphasis to try to learn as much as I could while I was in school and afterwards. There are many rewarding aspects of my work. Certainly the day-to-day -day challenge, every day is different. Every day is a new problem, sometimes I've never seen before, even though I've been doing this for a very long time. And it's also the people, the clients, you get to, to meet a lot of very interesting people in all different life situations. And they all have this one thing in common, which is the bond with this animal. Try to do the best job you can to help and improve that bond. I think the best way to prevent burnout, honestly, is to try to stay engaged, try to stay interested, try to be open, always try to learn. I think if you put yourself in a position where you're always trying to learn something, see new ideas, it's really hard to get burnt out because there's always something new and challenging. Well, in my spare time, I like to be outdoors. I like to hike, I like to bike, I love to travel. I like to take walks with my dog. Whenever I can, I'm trying to, I try to get outside. Right now, I have a dog, a Labrador, and I have a cat. Through the years, I've had many different animals, many different types of birds. I am a bird veterinarian, um, but uh, currently, I just have a dog and a cat, which keeps me busy because I have, I spend a lot of time at work. I started working with the Merck Veterinary Manual after I met Susan Aiello uh, through the American Medical Writers Association. I myself do a lot of editing and I met her through that. She knew that I worked at the Animal Medical Center and that my specialty is exotic pets through, so through that she asked me to help with the exotic pet section or the exotic animal section of the Merck Veterinary Manual. One Health is the concept that it's the animals, the human, and the environment, that it's an interplay of all those aspects. Some diseases that we have in animals mimic diseases that are in people and vice versa. It goes back to the concept that it's all interrelated and then how the environment comes into that as well because the environmental factor is huge, especially with animal health and also with human health. It's, it's one big picture and it's, it's really important to pay attention to, to that. I do find it very valuable for veterinarians to work with medical professionals, other professionals. They have great ideas that we can sometimes use. I work in the middle of New York City and we have collaborations with New York Wild Cornell, sometimes with Sloan Kettering, so we have a lot of inter-hospital collaborations going on. We can learn a lot from what they do in human medicine, and I think with a particular problem, if there's some idea that you can glean from the human medical side that you could apply to the animal side. So there's a lot of things that we can learn and that they can learn as well, I think, from what we do with animals, absolutely. I think we have to reach out. We have to learn as much from other fields and also to bring attention to, to animal health and how important keeping animal species is for keeping humans healthy as well. It's very interconnected. Certain populations of animals die in one part of the world. It's like a domino effect, so it's, it's very important going forward that veterinarians, I think, play a bigger role have a bigger voice.
As a veterinary student, as a veterinarian, if you are interested in, in dealing with exotic pets or treating exotic pets, the important thing is to get as much education as you can in whatever way you can, online learning, going to seminars, reading books, because there's no way at any point in your career that you're gonna know everything about anything. I've been doing this for 35 years and there's things that still walk in the door. I have no idea what they are. So you have to just keep yourself open, keep yourself educated, but that's the challenge. That's what makes it interesting.